Hi everyone, back here for another video. Today I'm revisiting the questions you guys ask about the Logitech K380 and K480 keyboards. In my last comparison video, there were many questions, so I picked some of the common questions, categorized it so as not to make this video too long. And now I will try to answer those questions to the best of my abilities. Let's get into it. First question, will this work on a Samsung tablet or is it exclusively for Apple? Does the K480 connect on Android smartphones? Well, both of these keyboards can work on Android tablets or phones. I have not tested it myself as I don't have an Android device, though I've been contemplating to get a Samsung Tab S8, but still thinking and not buying. Anyway, I know that it will work on Android because Logitech mentioned that in their website. And also, according to Logitech, the switch buttons here on the K480 will allow users to switch devices according to the operating system that you are using. While on the K380, it automatically adjusts to the operating systems, so it's ready to use. There are some combinations to manually select the OS on the K480, but I've never really had the need to use those combinations. It instantly works when I connect to any of my devices. Next question. Any of these two keyboards are compatible with the iPhone 12 on iOS 15? Can I use the K480 or K380 for iPad uh, 7th gen or 8th gen? And it's the same answer just earlier. It will work on any iOS and iPad OS devices as long as it's on the supported versions of Logitech as indicated in their website. I use this currently on my iPhone 12, my iPad Air 3, my iPad mini, and iPad Pro. Next question. I want the keyboard, but do I also need the mouse to use with the iPad? Is it simpler to work with the mouse? Well, for me personally, I want to use a mouse while using the K480 or the K380 or whatever keyboard just because it feels more natural like using a computer. But if you are already used to using the iPad's touchscreen, then I don't think you need to use a mouse. Of course, it means you need to reach out to the screen, but what's good with that is you can easily scroll and also zoom in and out and do more precise actions with your finger. Next question, and I don't know why this is asked many times, if they can use the mouse and keyboard at the same time, or can they connect the keyboard and a Bluetooth headphone at the same time? And the answer is simply yes, you can use the K480 or the K380 together with a Bluetooth mouse and even with a Bluetooth headset or speakers. Next question, I would like to know where to find the list of keyboard shortcuts and any idea where I can find it. Well, currently I'm working on listing my favorite keyboard shortcuts and I'm planning to share it using Notion pages. And once I've completed it, I will add the links here so you can easily refer to the keyboard shortcuts for your own use. In the meantime, you can check out the description box because I've added all the links to my keyboard shortcut videos on the K380 and the K480. And stay tuned because there will be more videos soon as I discover new keyboard shortcuts for my favorite apps. Next question, will the keyboard shortcuts work on the iPhone? Yes, the keyboard shortcuts for typing will work on the iPhone as well. But the multitasking keyboard shortcuts won't work here. And also, the command plus tab to switch to previous apps will not work on the iPhone. Those shortcuts for multitasking and command plus tab will only work on iPadOS or Mac or on Windows PC. Next question, what is a shortcut to switch keyboard languages? To switch languages, simply look for the key with the globe icon. That is what you can press to switch to different languages you have set on your iPad keyboard settings. Plus, you can also switch to emojis. On the K480, simply press that key and you will see the options on the iPad. 
On the K380, on the other hand, you need to press the function key plus the GOB key to switch languages or use emojis. Next question. Do the keyboards work well on Word, Excel, PowerPoint on the iPad? I did a few tests on the Microsoft apps like Excel, Word, and PowerPoint, but I want to do some more tests in the future and hope I can make some in-depth video about it. My observation is that the K480 and the K380 keyboards work well with these apps when typing, which it should. There are not too many keyboard shortcuts, at least on the downloadable apps, because um, when I press and hold on the command key, only basic keyboard shortcuts, mainly for typing, are there. Again, I need to do more tests to figure this out, as the mobile app version of Microsoft Office is way different from the Windows version that I'm so used to. Take note, though, um, what is weird is the web app version of Excel, where I cannot find a way to use the keyboard arrow keys to move cells. I have to use the mouse all the time. Anyone notice this too? Next question. Why some keys are not working and when I type the letter J, L, O, U, or K, it doesn't type and instead it moves the cursor of the iPad. So if this happens to you, you need to go and check your iPad settings. First, you need to go to Accessibility Settings and then go to Assistive Touch. Then go down and look for Mouse Keys. In here, you will see the options that says Mouse Keys allow Assistive Touch to control the pointer using the keyboard keys. And that's the reason why. So turn that option off and then all the letters on the keyboard will type as normal. On to the next question. What do you think about the white keyboards turning yellowish in color? It seems for me the K380 keyboard has better materials and it does not look like it will turn yellow. At least not yet, I guess. But there's only one key on this K380 keyboard that looks like to have this coloring and it's the apostrophe or the code key. I don't know why it's like this. On the other hand, K480 seems to be a bit more yellowish, but to be honest, I don't notice it when I use it. It, it seems to be only visible when I take videos of it. Um, so let me know what you think. Next question, will the iPad Pro 2021 fit in the K480 dock? Well, I don't have an iPad Pro 2021. Mine is the 2020 version and it's the 11 inch, so for sure it will fit in the K480 dock. But if you are after the 12.9, um, well, I can attest that because I don't have that version. According to Logitech, the dock of the K480 fits most phones and tablets up to 0.4 inches thick and 10 inches wide. While Apple says the iPad Pro 12.9 measures 0.25 inch thick, 11.4 inches in height, and 8.46 inches in width. So you measure and decide. Final question for this video are both the K380 and K480 membrane keyboards? And the answer is yes. What I see is the difference in the K380, it also uses the scissor mechanism, while the K480 is just the all plastic keycaps, which may explain the more clanky and louder plastic key typing on the K480. And the K380 has the more quiet typing. So, hope this video helps you get more information on these two keyboards. Check out my channel as I've already made tons of video on the K380 and K480. And that's it. Thanks for watching.